Hi everybody, uh, Osama Ghazal with you. Uh, today uh, we will talk about uh, how to create a spinner uh, by Android Studio with Kotlin language. The spinner is uh, like a menu or like list, not no menu, it's, it's a list actually. Uh, we will uh, learn how to fill it uh, at runtime uh, and at design time. Uh, now we will go to and uh, we will put a button here on the screen and we will uh, give it an ID button one and will be fill spinner. Then we will go to containers and select spinner or we can search here and type spinner we will find it directly we will put it on the screen we'll design it okay We will name it Spinner 1 For this text about button we will uh, define on click function it will be btn on click to create the function for it We will go to the activity then we will create the function function btn on click <coughs> view view alt enter to import the class now uh, we will use the simple way the simple way to fill the spinner we have uh, many methods we will use two, two methods in this video now spinner one we, we don't need to make a value a value for spinner and find the view by id or something like this no in kotlin we can call the id directly not like java so spinner one uh, dot array adapter sorry dot adapter equal array adapter Okay, uh, the context is this. The layout, we will choose android.r. Dot layout. Dot simple list or simple spinner item comma we will fill it with the array how can we fill this array we have many methods one of these methods that we can store the array in the string in values if we use it uh, usually if we will use it in our uh, project many times we will define it here uh, we will define a string array name we will give it a week days okay uh, the items item Saturday or I can I can copy it uh, it's ready uh, in text file do not waste the time copy and here paste okay Saturday Monday Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and Friday okay now it is in the resources now we will give it resources dot get string array we'll open the practice then r dot resources dot array dot weekdays this is the simple the simplest 
way to define the spinner. Now we can run. There is nothing than a spell spinner. Now we see the weak days here. Okay. If we want uh, to make it at design, at not design at time, at, at the programming time, time, at runtime, we will define a value. It will be uh, items and it will be array no not, not the two dots it's equal it will be equal array of this we can use it if we want to fill the the, the arrays uh, from uh, database or from uh, result or from anything else also we can copy it from here it's ready if it is not static, if it's a dynamic, if you want to fill it from database, from result, from another array, from anything else. Okay, we define it now as array, as array. And here, instead of resources, we will put items directly. This is another simple way to define the spinner. This is very simple way. Now we will run. Okay, fill spinner. It is the month. All the months from January to December. Here, if we want to make it a static. At design time and the other way will be at runtime through programming we will fill it inside the array directly and put it in the adapter. So it's equal array adapter, this dot Android R. We can put it in the same uh, line. This is the theme, the symbol spinner item. This is the theme of the theme or uh, filling method we can try now another method uh, it's more complex it will be array adapter dot create from resources uh, the context is this and we will put the items it's from array <coughs> R dot array this, uh, or, or we can choose items directly and now the layout will be spinner item R dot layout dot simple spinner item then we will put dot also adapter, array adapter uh, it should be in the same line I think not in the next line it will be, it, it must be beside the also the bracket at least Yes. Now we will go to another line. 
and the array adapter is a variable dot set drop down a view resource the resource is android dot r dot layout dot uh, simple spinner drop down item another theme or another way to design the spinner <coughs> okay Now, uh, the items, uh, it's not the same, it's just much type because it, it must be array uh, list, I think, not array, not normal array. So we will select it from the resources that we define it in the strings. Now, spinner.adapter equal No, it's, it will be equal adapter. Array adapter is small letter, not capital letter. Yes, that we define it. Okay. Now we will test. We will run. It's empty. Fill spinner. It's done. If we see the the view is different that different than the previous one. There is a spaces between the items, the re the records. Okay. Now we can we must uh, or or we want to know how to take the value of this spinner and the index of this. Uh, how can we know that we select Sunday or which index in this uh, spinner? We will put now uh, text views, four text views. We will design it. Okay. We will name it Spinner Value. And Spinner position or index <coughs> position and we must uh, give an ID here txt val and the other is txt index Okay. Now we want to go to the activity and we want to make functions in on create. In on create, we will create two override functions. We will override the on select, on item selected, the spinner one dot on item selected equal object it's adapter view dot on item selected no it's adapter view dot on selected 
This is a ready method and we will override. Override on selected. And also we will uh, override on uh, nothing selected. And we'll delete this. Now, TST. The, pa the parent is the, the spinner. Now, TXT. Val dot text equal parent it is the spinner sorry dot get item at position where is it it at position yes get item at position position dot to string we will convert it to string sorry and the txt this is the position for um, uh, for the selected text now txt index dot text equal parent equal position sorry dot to string and here we must put a question mark for the null values and the same in the on nothing selected txt index dot text equal none and txt val dot text equal none now we want to run to test okay fill spinner Okay, Monday, it will be 0, 1, 2. The index will be 2. 0 is Saturday. Always the spinners will start with 0. Now it's Monday and Monday, uh, 2. Wednesday, it will be 4. And Wednesday, the value. Okay, Friday will be 6. And Friday. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and press like uh, and uh, goodbye.